Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. I'm Mick, your host with the most. Just ask your girlfriends and your wives. So, James Gunn, Peter Saffron and DC Studios are developing a Bane and Deathstroke movie. Yes, a Bane and Deathstroke movie with Bane and Deathstroke, just in case you misunderstood, in the movie together. Bane and Deathstroke in the same movie. Are you getting it yet? On its own, that's a very, very good idea, boys and girls. But I have to ask the question, why? Why have they decided to do this? Does it matter, Mick? Yes, it does. I believe, and I'm a bit suspicious, that they've seen Deadpool and Wolverine and gone, oh yeah, that's a good idea. That made over a billion dollars. But why did it? Why did it? Because Deadpool and Wolverine had been in multiple standalone movies of their own. And those versions and those actors playing those characters had become beloved. That's why that worked. You are throwing in Bane and Deathstroke in one movie without any previous, without them being like villains in a previous Batman movie. And just to clarify, nothing to do with Matt Reeves as far as I know. This is DC Studios. This is James Gunn. This is Peter Saffron. And here's another takeaway from, from this situation, because this is an exclusive from The Hollywood Reporter and Boris Kitt. There is no better source in Hollywood. So this is probably a thing. But do you want to know one of the people writing this film? Well, it's one of the writers from Captain America New World Order. That is a huge red flag. It shouldn't be really because we haven't seen that film yet. But it comes from the same mentality post-end game, which concerns me because the quality of MCU movies post-end game haven't been of the high standard they were pre-end game. We all know that. It's no point pretending. So that is a red flag for me. But the idea on its own of having a Bane and Deathstroke movie is very exciting. But again, throwing these characters together, is this a comedy? Is this dark? Is this going to be R-rated? What's it going to be? I, I feel some Batman versus Superman vibes here. The reason there was a Batman versus Superman movie was panic because Man of Steel didn't make more money. The money it made was fine. It was fine. It made more than what it spent. It made a profit, but they wanted to make a bigger profit, so they panicked. For them, that was a kind of disaster. So, oh, can't just have another Superman movie because people are not interested in Superman. Well, they were nearly 700 million, you know, dollars globally isn't bad at the end of the day. And you know, to this date, that amount of money is the highest box office for a Superman movie to date. Of course, if you go back to 78, if you translate it for modern day money, obviously Superman 78 is still the most successful Superman film of all time. Let's be clear about that. But yeah, so it's a red flag for me that one of the writers, one of the people developing it is the writer from Captain America New World Order. Haven't seen the movie, but I'm concerned because of the lack of quality in the MCU post end game. And the motivation for this movie also concerns me that they're doing what they tried to do with the first Suicide Squad, which was turn it into Deadpool, taking the movie that David Ayer had written and directed and recycle it into something else. The same thing they did with Zack Snyder's Justice League as well, with Justice League, didn't they? And it seems like we're seeing already, this is something that I warned about, that the new DC Studios has the mentality of the old DCEU. Not Zack Snyder's mentality, but the people behind the scenes at Warner Brothers seem to be doing it again. And it's interesting because I should be excited. And I think on its own, the idea is exciting. But can you just throw Bane and Deathstroke in a movie? It's all about execution. It all depends what the movie is. Boris Kitt in his headline for The Hollywood Reporter goes, that's all you need to know, that they're going to be in it. No, I need to know more. I need to know what the film's going to be. I need to know why these two characters are in, in a film together 
for me to kind of think, yeah, this could work. So we're getting all these projects announced. And what's interesting is, boys and girls, we were getting lots of projects announced for the DCEU. Most of them never came to fruition, never got made. We never saw them. Is it wise before we know how much Superman's going to make to announce these projects? It seems to me that whatever happens to Superman, whether he succeeds or flop, WB and DC Studios are going full steam ahead with this universe.